Hey everybody, welcome to the Unusual Maw. We're playing Doom Eternal today. But a lot of you didn't see that coming. Um, I love the Doom franchise. I'm excited about playing this game. Uh, a little behind the curve. I think this came out like a month ago or three weeks ago. But uh, yeah, I look forward to it. Let's uh, let's dive in here. I watched uh, a little bit of this the gameplay from Jacksepticeye when it first came out. Um, but that's all I know about this game. I, I watched the first two episodes, and they were kind of on in the background. I didn't want to watch too much of it uh, because I was really looking forward to it and wanted to play it myself. I love the 2016 version. Uh, let's quit babbling and try to figure out what, what we want to play here. Um, one death and you fail. Ultra Nightmare. Extra life mode. Run of extra lives and then die. It's game over. Select this mode and then select your difficulty. I'm tempted to do this, but I, th I think we're going to wind up in a PoE situation if I pick this uh, pick this mode here. So. If you're an experienced FPS player with great reflexes and you love exploring levels for progression items and difficulty, then this difficulty setting is for you. Enemies throw power attacks more often and deal significant damage. Death may be common early on as you'll learn to master the skills needed to dominate, dominate the combat experience. I think we're going to play Ultra Violence for now. This is going to be one of those games that I will probably leave installed on my hard drive long after I've played it to go through and play through all the modes. I still have the 2016 version on my hard drive. I have for the last like year and a half or two years or however long it's been on there. And uh, I still have achievements to do. I loaded it up one day probably three months ago to play it and uh i couldn't like the controls just felt weird like i have to start all over so i, I banned it pretty quickly uh let's do it guys let's do it against all the evil that hell can conjure all the wickedness that mankind can produce we will send unto them only you rip and tear until it is done I had a sneeze there hopefully they didn't pick up on the uh, recording Doom is such a fun game. I mean, pray, pray, pray. pray that he is watching. Please, anyone, if you can hear me, if you're out there. Attempting to acquire the Hell Priest signal. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man or his armies. They fear the mark of the beast. That beast is the Doomslayer. <laughs> Love it. That's perfect. That's that's lock and rock here. Yeah, I see you. I have located a pre signal 
Is there ammo in the bottom right? The priest signal. The street prophet? Alright. Glory kill, I'm assuming. Uh, e or mouse 4 to glory kill. Okay, I keep wanting to hit uh, the right trigger to zoom in. But that's the uh, alternative fire in this game. Mouse 4, I wonder if that's uh, middle mouse? Chainsaw? Daddy like? Press C to instantly chainsaw demons and refill your ammo. The chainsaw requires fuel, gas canisters, one fuel pip, slowly refu uh, refuels over time. Face to dismiss. We'll see. Yeah. So you can go at them at uh, different angles, it looks like. And our gas can is down there in the bottom right as well. Okay. Get to dig. I uh, didn't really read that. Uh, I guess that's a barrel. Yep, explodey barrel. What are these? Purchable purchasables? Ah, uh, I missed that too. We can just punch that, I guess. Double jump. Okay. This isn't where we came in, is it? Yes, it is. Um, I'm assuming we're going to have to get on that box there that we pushed over, but... Just double jump? Okay. I see. I got a guess. These were the uh, upgrade things in uh, the first one. Or, well, 2016, not the first one. Uh, so mod selection screen interacts. Interact with a mod bot and then unlock the mod for the available weapon. Use mods to expand each weapon's gameplay behavior. Do I get to choose here? I think so. Sticky bombs are full auto. The well, full auto is kind of neat. Sticky bombs are usually pretty good, though. And then unlock the selected paper. Pro tip adds a long range option to the shotgun. Quick range, bigger boom, mastery five spat, salva extender. Well, let's go to the sticky bombs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If this game is half, well, maybe not half, but if it's as good as 2016, we'll, we'll have a masterpiece here. To activate a weapon mod, press or hold mouse 2, and then press mouse 1 to fire. Read each mod's description in the dossier to learn more. Search the environment to locate more mod bots and expand your weapon's capabilities. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, mouse four, not C for glory kills. Things coming down? No. Uh, yep. It's going to take me a second to get used to uh, the buttons here. We'll be running uh, full steam as the game goes on, though. Uh, mouse 4, which is uh, not that button. They're not easy, easy enough to hit. Love it. Seventy-four health. These are jump, jump boost. Mm. 
I'm assuming the grenades probably take more uh, more ammo. Low ammo. Uh, more ammo than the normal shots, probably. Should probably use it a little bit more sparingly. Let's get some more ammo from using the chainsaw. Oh, the imps are kind of getting the better of us. I turned down just a hair. I can hear myself. I don't know if I'm shouting over the game or... Uh, get to Dag Nylax Chamber. That was the message we got earlier. There's probably a secret in here, but... There's, there's plenty of time for that. Elbarge. Press tad to access codex entry. Atop Mighty Thralls, the Hell Priest oversaw the invasion of the mortal world. The Thrall Slave, the Thrall, Slave Titan of the Underworld, carried the Priest Temples into the wake of battle, providing the Priest with the Vigil of Hell's advance from a strategically impervious emplacement. From their Temple Perch, the Priest would in, uh, emanate a powerful sonic influence. Is that so what is that word? Psionic. Imposing greater coordination among the chaotic forces of Hell and increasing their battle effectiveness. How do I... Scroll down. How do we go down? A view content. Uh, here we go. Uh, increase their battle effectiveness. The thrall, posing superior resilience, paved indestructible, oh, proved indestructible by conventional weapons, thwarting all attempts by arc defense forces. Only by serving the priest's psychokinetic tether could the titan be neutralized. An act that could only be accomplished by an infiltration of the temple itself. That's what those guys look like. Too sweet. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're going to read all these. I Actually, I kind of want to. Yeah, we're going to read them all. Because that's what the Codex is there for. Bad's coming, I feel like. I have seen... Yeah, I know what this is. Okay. That's this big guy here. The first Hell Priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two Hell Priests remaining. Two Hell Priests to go. Come get some. <laughs> I don't think we want to fight him yet. Weapon on. Sticky bombs. Uh, turn the, okay, we have this though, right? Is this like rank two? Oh no, okay, we can't get that. So this is the full auto? Now the question is, how do we swap between the two? Press F to swap some weapon mods. Perfect. Right? That's exactly what I was asking. Uh, you can swap weapon mods during combat to fit the current situation. Right? We have to right click. There we go. Low ammo. Well. Okay. The objective marker shows where your current objective is. It's present on the compass and the auto map. Press. Oh, left alt to show the objectives in the world. Left alt to pull up objectives uh, to dismiss. Left alt. Here's the map. What is this? Can we go back and get it? No, what the map. Arsenal Codex challenges. Do you have a new Codex entry? We do for the Akako Demon. Um, zombies? Oh, we got all these too. 
Uh, use these weak demons to farm for resources. General tip. Um, enter to view. Possessed by the influence of hell, these once human underlings that follow in hell's ranks are those that have been corrupted and deceived by its power, forsaking their own humanity. Those who have fully succumbed to hell's control cannot be saved, becoming mindless, grotesque contortions of their former selves. Zmobies. The imp. Use bullet weapons to stop imps from stop imps in their tracks. It's not, it's not a great tip, but... Uh, scavengers of the underworld. Imps are among the most common of the beasts found on the score surface of the hellscape. Lesser demons of hell. The imp possesses limited intelligence, driven only by the hunter's impulses to seek out prey. A task for which the imp is naturally suited to suited due to its innate capability for violence. As a result of these attributes, the imp makes for an ideal foot soldier and is oft deployed. Oh, is oft yeah, oft deployed in the warning in the wearing legions of hell. Oh, the warring legions of hell. Easily manipulated and controlled by commanding highborn demons at the behest of the uh, sovereign chapters. Uh, it is common for the imp to appear at the front line of an offensive attack, an expendable resource unleashed in great numbers to overcome and break through the enemy front. That's the imp. The soldier, a point blank blast from a shotgun will stagger a blasted soldier. A blasted soldier. Oh, a blaster soldier. Uh, the plasma rifles can overload energy shields and trigger an explosion. Uh, blood punch can instantly destroy the energy shield. Okay. Once frontline infantry fighting to protect Earth from the demon invasion, the Hell Soldiers have been claimed by darkness, turning them against their fellow soldiers in the midst of battle. And the Akako Demon. Fire a sticky bomb or a frag grenade in its mouth to trigger a stagger. The Ballista does bonus damage to flying demons. The Ballista. Hunters of the Slothlands. Uh, the Kaka Demon lurks at the bottomless and murky depths of hell in search of easy prey, a nameless wanderer. The Kaka Demon is mostly devoid of cognitive ability, sensory awareness, and otherwise commonly occurring impulses. Driven only by a singular desire to feed, the Kaka Demon is likely to appear where wherever there is flesh to be consumed, bringing it the insatiable propensity for hunger. It is said the Kaka Demon bears some resemblance to the Cycloptic Titans of ancient hell lore, leading sentinel scholars to believe that the forgotten Titans may yet live on in some disembodied form. And there's the image of it. Grenade goes in. <laughs> uh, perfect. I think that's probably it. Uh, we got some stuff here. Um, Doomblade. Modification of the Praetor suit, the armor mounted Doomblade, designed to increase the Slayer's short range striking power, strong enough to serve. Uh, severed demonic flesh and bone, the blade's serrated edge, allows the Slayer to break, break through enemy defenses and attack where conventional wep weaponry is ineffective. Chainsaw. As the renowned weapon masters of the Night Sentinels professed, you know these O's and these A's are kind of hard to read. I mean, this is an O. Uh, this is, well, I guess maybe not. It's very obvious that that's an A. That's an O. Uh, it is the warrior that makes the weapon great. Albeit an unconventional choice, the chainsaw has become the staple of the Doom Slayer's personal arsenal. For the kind of work that requires enemy dis dismemberment, the chainsaw is the right tool for the job. I agree with that. Combat shotgun. Despite a wealth of armament options in the modern combat specialist, this tru trusty workhorse remains a firm favorite among operatives. When matched against a superheated, superheated plasmoids or gauss driven projectiles, the ballistic impact of the combat shotgun holds its own. The simplicity of the design ensures the weapon is extremely quick and reliable, yet the vast array of ammunition type makes it versatile and flexible. Colloquially, colloquially known as the crowd appeaser, a locked and loaded combat shotgun will pacify even the most riotous of assailants. Have to agree with that? Uh, secrets, glory kills. Yeah, yeah, we went through all this. Uh, that's kind of cool they put the tutorials in here. Um, objective marker. It's present on the compass in the automat press. Left alt to show the objectives in the world. Weapons mods. Yeah. And swap weapons. What was over here? The terrain? Uh, I guess... This, are these all the levels? This can't be all the levels. Uh, Vega data entry. Do the image. We are somewhere in North America. I guess. Or maybe we're up here. And this is 
Greenland? Right, and then this is someplace. Maybe Greenland as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute, I was still I was gonna read that, actually. We're gonna read them all. If uh, you guys don't want to read it, just leave a comment. I'll stop reading it. Uh, but for the time being, at least for the next probably four episodes, we'll probably read all these. And we'll try to uh, we'll try to make the videos longer. Wait, hang on a second. Uh, nearly 60% of the planet has been consumed by the demons. With the rate of expansion increasing each day, the majority of the world population died in the first month of the Hell Invasion following the catastrophic failure of virtually every man-made system. The military response was immediate but only marginally effective in providing safe retreat to civilians and many fortified locations cut off from the outside communication. Facing overwhelming opposition, these makeshift fortresses have grad gradually fallen to the gro growing de demon presence one after the other. Large portions of the Earth's surface have become uninhabitable, with swarms of demons scouting the globe and most regions suffering from an atmosphere that has become infected and poisonous by process of some form of alien terraforming. Sweet. So that's that's what's going on here. And, uh, yeah. Escape to get back. I know that stuff might be kind of boring to some. I typically don't read it, but it's a, it's a new day. And now, here... This thing right here, what is this book? I want this book. And I have the book, please. We have to go under the map to get the book? The book's supposed to be right here. But it's not there. This leads me to believe that... Probably under? Uh, I don't want to go dying a bunch. Let's, um... I guess maybe we'll come back. I do there. Oh, that's chainsaw I was bringing up, which we're now low on uh, ammo for. See the gas right there? Uh, no, it's uh, E. We'll get the hang of that eventually. No, nope, really wanted that ammo there. No fall damage, kind of expected. This is where I wish I had a better graphics card. Well, I didn't want to change, so I wanted to... I'm getting C and E mixed up. I'm pretty sure it's the same controls that it was in 2016, but... Okay. I feel like we missed stuff, but... It's alright. Uh, weak point. Arcanatron. Certain demons have weak points that you can be shot for extra damage. Or even disable their abilities. Weak points flash red when damaged. The Arcanatron is a heavy range demon. Its turret is a weak point. It can be destroyed disabling its long range attacks. Uh, explore the codex to learn more about demons' weak points. Press space to dismiss. We'll go to the codex. What is this? Challenges? Yeah, this was. Yeah, they had challenges in the 2061 too. 20 hours left. Or week four challenges. Oh, this is like weekly stuff? That's cool if that's what this is. Huh. I really hope that's what that is. So you can play this game like all the time, potentially? Like, this could be like your game to play. Uh, certain certain demons have weak points that can be shot for extra damage or even disable their abilities. Yeah, yeah we saw that. Uh, what I mean to say is like you could just play this game every week, right? Compete with other people, I'm guessing. Which I don't think the 20, 2016 version had that. No, you're over here. Ow. Okay, well. First death. Probably not the last. E next, E next, yep, space to continue. Uh, E, yep. Now, did we get all of our ammo back? That, that barrel kind of helped. Took a lot of damage there to kill that, I'm not gonna lie. And maybe that's the uh, difficulty level we're on. 
That was sweet. <laughs> As was that. Yeah. Guys, you punch the, this guy to death? Not really. Looks like they replenished my ammo. Um, maybe not. Taking a lot of damage here. We're gonna have to play good this uh, this round. The difficulty we're on. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. Checkpoint reached. New gun. I like new guns. Some armor. Some gas. Uh, these little bottles over here. Probably health. Jump pad. Health bags that go over 100. We're just trying to learn the ins and out. There's another guy still here. Just trying to go with a foot, foot glory kill there. Looks pretty good. Well, let's see. I saw some ammo over here. I want to see if the cap is 16. Now I'm gonna have to be very diligent uh, or vigilant about the the time here, because I could see myself just getting away with this episode and winding up with like a five-hour episode. It's probably not gonna be anything that bad. Uh, can I have you? Weapon wheel. Press Q or mouse five to quickly swap between your previous weapons. Hold Q or mouse five to activate the weapon wheel. And choose from all your weapons. Okay. Heavy cannon. Q. Okay. Is that uh, mouse wheel up and down? Yep. If I hold it in now. Q will swap. Mouse wheel swaps. Hold Q to go to this wheel here. I like. Uh, I love this. Well, you know what? Let's. I say I love the shotgun, why switch, but... I'm guessing this is a map. Auto map stations, yep. When an auto map station will reveal undiscovered areas of the, on the map, you can view a map in the map tab of the dossier, pressing tab. Your auto map can reveal valuable items in the world as you explore locations. So check back regularly to see what you have uncovered. Press tab to open. Dismiss. Yep. Oh, we missed something down there. Does this tell us what these are? No items found. Oh, we found we found that book. That's why we couldn't find it again. Maybe. Ugh. Zoom center. Rotate pan camera. Lovely. Uh, I know we got a codex entry here. Let's let's read the about the heavy cannon, I guess. And a new uh, Arcanotron. Destroy the gun target to dis uh, completely disable the weapon. Arcanotrons are built on the generic material recovered from the remains of the original Spider Mastermind. Yeah. Bioengineered from the cyber augmentation, while its actual body exhibits only limited mobility, the oddly cerebral qualities of the Arcanotron make it a prime candidate for the impulse controlled prosthetic frame that is now that it now permanently inhibits inhabits. Uh, the UIC facility responsible for the Arcanotron's creation, intending to engineer and weaponize demons of their own design was overrun after an outbreak occurred inside the assembly plant, killing everyone inside. The facility, still operating under the directive of the administrative AI, continues to manufacture Arcanotrons autonomously. It's booby. Not that that's not that's not the situation you want to be in. Uh, heavy cannon. Uh, a common complaint among users of the punch packing conventional weapon is the weight, as most of the component parts are forged in Tungstranium. Tungstranium. A proprietary alloy developed to withstand the enormous stresses imparted by the optimal, optional exploding dart ammunition. However, the additional weight makes the heavy cannon an ideal sniper rifle. However, the additional weight makes the heavy cannon an ideal sniper rifle. As swaying the tremors are mitigated by the massive bulk. Trigger management is the highest priority when using this weapon, as self inflicted gunshot wounds are common thanks to the no pull reflex trigger system. Uh, what else we got here? This is the, yeah, this is the stuff that we saw already. Okay. Sounds good to me. That's where we came from, right? It's kind of when we get like a, a target dummy here.
already. Going back to the shotgun. Less damage, but... but you know, we'll, uh, we'll play around with both. I want to go up there. Like, I saw the, the enemies and it just, I gravitated down, but... I think there's going to be something. Eh, a little bit of armor. Which we do need. Oh. Platforming and uh, FPS is pretty good. Uh, this takes a little getting used to. Oh, this is like a. It's almost like a. Not a chain gun, kind of. A lot of ammo there. They're all fighting each other. Feels good, man. I'm one of those gamers that, uh, and maybe you guys have noticed this if you've watched me, I'll, uh, I'll double back quite often to get stuff that I might have missed, or I think I might have missed. Secret in there. Secret, secret. Take a moment to look around you. Witness the beauty of the world we have created. No, we didn't take out the gun. We're hurting bad here, too. Need health, please. Yep. Not bad. We're alive. This is going to be a tough game to beat on this difficulty for us, but... Please assemble in an orderly fashion. Yep. Absolutely. We are assembled, and we are orderly. You know, because I told you we were. Is the glory kill not the greatest thing to come to video games? In a long time. Well, we're going back up. It feels good to be playing this game, I gotta say. I love the music in this game, too. Like, I'm, I'm feeling this track right now. I'm wondering if, uh... I kind of didn't want to read too much into the music of this game. Uh... I don't know, maybe I was afraid to be disappointed that it wasn't all going to be Mick Gordon, but... It kind of sounds like it's all Mick Gordon again. Which, uh, yeah, that's what we wanted. Man, I kind of, well, to be honest with you guys, I really want to turn up the music, but then I won't be able to hear myself uh, talk. Uh, are we going the right way? This is the perfect game for just blaring the music as loud as possible, though. If there's a title to do it, it's probably... it's probably Doom. Where are we going here? We're coming out this way. Do we need to go down? Looks like we do. It looked like we could jump on that, but... Maybe not. You get up into this parking garage here. I... No. That was wishful thinking there. We kind of knew that wasn't going to work. That was. Gain subway access. I see. It's not in through here. Just went into the subway, guys. Well, this was the progression part. Was through here. Do you want to jump up here? No. Was around this side? Probably around here. No. Just over this way, I guess. Oh, this way. I see. I got it, guys. Wall climb. Uh, 
Third can attach the pit of walls by pressing E or mouse four. Okay. You have to hold on to E? I don't know. It's kind of a small climb there. Yellow key card? Yeah. So we're just back down here, though. Where did we want to go? Oh, we got the yellow key card. Now we can go into the subway. Okay. Something is uh, shooting fireballs at us. Yeah, that felt good. <laughs> we'll melee uh, glory kill into. Uh... Let me stop shooting those at me. Glory kill into a chainsaw. Not much chainsaw uh, ammo. Yep, I love the aerial glory kills too. Just making sure they were there. That wasn't good. We're hurting real bad right now. Uh, we need that health. Nope. No bueno. No bueno, guys. It's okay. This is replacing the uh, the Ori series. It's uh, definitely a departure from Ori. Yeah, we probably need to not hang out in the open there. Taking less damage than we were last time? Okay, now we need to just get through here without getting hit by these fireballs. Okay. Missed. Oh, we got him. Yep. Right into a chainsaw. Back in business. You pick up uh, gas. We do. Well, we got gas. Okay. Weapon mod coming up. Uh, heavy cannon. Okay, precision bolt. Semi-automatic loader that fires high precision, high powered rounds. It's like a mini sniper, short range sniper, or micro missiles. Kind of cool. I think. Hmm. Precision bolt, I guess. Feels good. I got. I love the way they do the weapon system in the new Doom games. You find the weapon mods, and the weapons become. Different, but the same. The same weapon, but different. Uh, frag grenade. Press left control or mouse three to launch a grenade. This explodes after landing on the ground. The explosion damages and falters any demons hit by the blast. Combat with other weapons. A frag grenade. Gradually recharges over time. Press space to dismiss. Uh, so that was... What was the button? Control? Is that our fragger? Yep. Here's our... Short range sniper. Hmm. I do want to explore for all the. I know there's a lot of hid, hidden stuff in this game. It's anything like the last one there is. Uh, the Kaka Demon is a pressure demon with a powerful close range bite. If you can fire a sticky bomb or a frag grenade into its mouth, it instantly staggers. 
It's where the code I should learn more about the demon weak point. Demons a weak point. Beautiful. Okay. Easy game. Was this, uh, were we over here? Is this where we came from? I think it is. There's the Kaka Demon. Felt good. If you guys are watching me play this and you and you think I must have practiced, I'm just good at games. <laughs> I say that even though we've died, I think two two times, maybe three. Out of chainsaw uh, fuel. We probably should have put it on the hardest difficulty. Did I get up there? No. There's one imp uh, running around here. I wonder if the gore nest type uh, mechanic is going to be in this game. It doesn't look like it so far. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know. Okay. No, I can aim. Nice try. Whoa. Yep. Mm. I have the upset I want us to have. This health? Yeah, that is health. We're in a lot of pain here. Can't seem to get the gun. Did we get him? Yep. No. No, no, we were too slow. Too slow for the glory kill there. Um... Yeah, so I take back everything I said uh, a little bit ago. It looks like this first episode is going to turn into probably an hour-long episode. It's not really what we're shooting for here, but maybe it is. I may mean, I say it's not, but maybe it is. I had not considered that at first. Mm, not great. We're gonna have to get better at killing the uh Arcan Arcan uh what are those called? Arachnitoids? Arachnitoids, I think is what they're called. Cause those seem to be our uh our uh, hardest enemy to kill so far. Kaka demons, not too bad. Assuming we have ammo. Yep, I could feel him being right there. Okay. It's probably triggered the uh, Ragnatoid. Terrible shot. Two terrible shots. We get it? We got it that time. We staggered him, but... Where'd he go? Where'd he go, Rimshot? Where'd he go? Stagger, come on. That was tight. We're out of ammo there. Whoa! 
Well, the AI seems intelligent. Not another arachnoid. So that's what we're good at killing, right? Let's get this uh, gas over here. Yeah. We're out of shotgun ammo. Beautiful. We do have our frag grenade, though. <laughs> you have shotgun ammo? We don't. So they won't even let you switch it if you don't have the ammo, which is probably for the best. Kind of makes sense. Uh... No, frag grenade is, uh... Oh, what button is the frag grenade? C? No, it's not C. <laughs> uh oh, oh my goodness. Q? It's not Q. V? V. Oh, it's uh, left control, that's right. Okay. Come on, stagger. No. Okay. 3 HP, guys. No problem. No problem. I'm hoping there's a Praetor suit upgrades like there was, there was in the 2016 version. Oh, it's, it's probably going to be tough to kill bosses here. That arachnoid is giving us that much problem. Do you have shotgun ammo yet? We got three. Just kidding. We got 16. What's our mission here? Get aboard the Citadel. Am I gonna fall in there? If I... Nope. So you do have to hold on. I saw it over there, I just wanted to make sure. Whoa. Okay. Are there one of these burning pages? This was Codex entry. Uh, do you want to read Codex? Let's uh, let's save some Codex for next episode. I've read a lot this uh, this episode. Ow. The game looks beautiful. Say that. What are you? Oh, that was cool. I thought it was going to be the same. Uh... So I have seen these killed quite a bit, but that's the first time I've seen a different animation than um, the other one. Don't worry, just go in the front and pull the eye out. So I wonder if there's like a over or under kill as well. Did we come up this way? Yeah, that's the way we came up. It wants us to go this way, but... Right? Is that where it wants us to go? No. No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> uh... This way? Where are we supposed to go here? Get aboard the Citadel. This is where we came in. Oh, I see it. Yep. Feels good, man. Yeah.
I think we got the Cacodemon's number. Those are almost easier to kill for us than the, uh, the imps. We're hurting. A little bit. Yep. Need health. There's an arachnitoid. Forty-two ammo. Okay. Kind of an explosive round that uh, sniper shot. I can hear the arachnitoid. There he is. Mm. It hurts. No. I thought that jump pad was going to screw up that uh, stagger there. All right, guys. Uh, looking at the time there, I think it's a good stopping point. We're going to end the episode here. That's uh, episode one of Doom Eternal. Uh, in the uh, in the chamber, I guess. Uh, if you like the video, as usual, drop us a like. If you like the content, subscribe to the Unusual Mall for more. We'll see you in the next episode of Doom Eternal. All right, guys. Until then. Take care. We'll see you next time.